Back to the Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Glad to have Brian Horner on. He's been on the program before, and uh, I love his organization, making a difference in the lives of uh, uh, not only uh, businesses, uh, but the, the employees of those businesses uh, through a unique ministry that we're going to spend some time uh, revisiting here today. Um, there's so many needs uh, in, in the business world today, and one of them, I think, uh, it clearly is in the spiritual realm. And there's an organization that's been around now for, for decades called Marketplace Chaplains that help uh, meet that need. And Brian is with that organization. Brian, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kevin. Great to be with you. You bet. Brian Horner is the uh, Division Director for the Gulf Coast uh, Division. And uh, Brian, tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and how you got involved with uh, this organization. Well, uh, Kevin, I have always loved uh, serving people and helping people way back to when I got a degree in Austin from the University of Texas and a social work degree. I've always had an interest in helping people, and I've also always had a love for business and how businesses operate and business people think. And so when I heard about Marketplace uh, Chaplains about 14 years ago, it it intrigued me, and I got in contact with them. A couple of years later, came on board uh, in that full-time role as uh, division director, as you mentioned. Yeah, absolutely. Talk a little bit about uh, Marketplace, what it was all about. Well, we have truly been very fortunate, very blessed uh, uh, every year. 30 years is uh, our existence this September up in Dallas. matter of fact, September 11th, we're going to have our 30th year celebration and banquet with Dr. Charles Swindoll as one of the key uh, speakers, and so it's going to be a great celebration. But these 30 years have been amazing. I can speak more closely to the 12 years that I've been with the organization, and I've seen just record growth every year. Uh, Last year that was the case. This year I think we're on pace to surpass last year even. And so uh, big businesses and small companies, uh, public and private corporations, all types of businesses and leaders that own those businesses that are interested in taking care of, of course, their most valuable resource, their people, is is what it's all about. They contact us and we start partnering with them to, to care for their people in new ways. So how do you attribute the, uh, the, the rapid growth? Well, I think anybody that turned on the television or the radio this past week or picked up a newspaper, you know, can see what problems we're having around the world. And I think there's some leaders that have finally said, you know, there is something I can do about that. At least the people that I work with and that work for me and my company, I'm going to do everything I can to care for them and their families. And so our organization not only serves the employees and these many businesses across the United States and elsewhere, but we serve their family members. And so I think that really resonates with people when they think, wow, you know, I may be doing all right, but maybe mom who just slipped and fell in the hospital in Seattle or my brother who's having a tough time in his marriage over in Tampa, and wow, they can truly be served and seen by a chaplain through Marketplace Chaplains. And so uh, that, that really resonates with a lot of people. Yeah, I also think there's something going on in the uh, work cultural environment that makes it more and more difficult for employers to be engaging on the on the on when it comes to their relationship with God with their employees, I don't know. It becomes more and more dicey, and I think there may be an attraction to an organization like you because you guys go to huge lengths to make sure that everything is done in compliance with the uh, with that environment. Exactly. We had a leader of a company, a construction company here in the Houston area, not very long ago, just a couple of weeks ago, that said that exact thing. He said, there's a lot that I might wish that I could do more to even extend my care to my employees even further, but there are things that I'm not probably allowed to do, but I wish I could do. And so, but you through your organization that, you know, vets your chaplains well and has professional individuals with a lot of experience that you can do some things that, you know, I'm not able to do or they just don't have the time or the resources to do so. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that compliance uh, is uh, both sad <laughs> but very important. Mm-hmm. And I uh, got to make sure you're in the uh, right stead. What is the? Um, what would you say is the reasons why people make that call to you and say, "Hey, we need we need one of our one of your chaplains here at our, our, our business." What what usually is there a trigger? That that happens, or kind of, kind of tell us what. Give us a few examples of stories of how that happens. 
Well, I would guess that most CEOs and business leaders are probably type A personalities. They are hard charging and they've been working hard for many, many years. And and I can tell you that the leaders that we work with have, many of them have achieved a pretty high pinnacle of success. Uh, we've got a number of companies that we serve that have been on the best places to work uh, list, uh, that short list of 100 uh, companies that's been published for years now. And so we work with some real superstars, if you will, companies and, and leaders. But I think at some point they you know, got into the end of the day or the end of the week and they said, look, our company is doing super financially, but is there something even more? And so uh, the big picture, you know, when it comes to the end of all of our lives, what are we going to look back at and say, you know, how do we make an impact? And so I think leaders realize that their employees aren't just employees that work for them eight to five, but they have lives outside of work. And if we can come alongside the business leaders and help in some way, they get excited. And they've heard the stories from uh, various uh, venues and individuals about the kind of impact that we've made in people's lives. And I I see that uh, daily just about through emails and phone calls about how you know, we're able to help people. I just got a call right before uh, this interview from an individual. He said, we need a uh, chaplain in a hospital in East Texas in a small town there. And so that just happens regularly. And, and I think that gives a lot of comfort and encouragement to the yeah, leadership. See, it's not with. just that, you know, they do it here. Uh, they, they might have employees all over the place, and you've got chaplains all over the place. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, phenomenal. Yeah. So, uh, what's the size range? How how big of a business does a business need to be in order to uh, use your services? Well, we've served a company as large as fifty thousand employees, and we've served one that only has one employee. <laughs> so, really, a wide range. Uh, there's a lot of companies probably that fall in that around a hundred employee range, but we serve many that are larger and, and a good number that are smaller too. Um, and at the end of the day, I don't think there's much of a difference. People are people, and uh, if it's a company of three or four uh, employees, we're going to do everything we can to, to serve them and their families. The same thing with a large multinational corporation. You know, we're in Canada now. We're in Mexico. We're throughout the United States. We're in Puerto Rico, the U.K., and just recently we've gone into South Korea and China and already seeing quite a response over in Asia. Uh, okay, how, how, how is that working in China? China is probably not quite coming on as fast as South Korea, but we're making a lot of inroads. We've set up offices there. I'm going to learn a lot more when I'm at our 30th uh, banquet and celebration in September. But I know in South Korea we've signed a large uh, law firm in uh, that nation and a number of other businesses. And so uh, exciting things are definitely happening over in the uh, Pacific Rim. Well, I want to have a follow-up interview with you right after that event because we will certainly want to learn more. And if you, the listener, wants to learn more about uh, the footprint of this organization, you can check it out online. Brian, what's the best website? Yeah, the best website would be just a simple www.m, as in Mark, mchapusa.com. So mchapusa.com. Thanks so much for being with us, Brian Horner. Thank you so much, Kevin. I appreciate you. All right. I I, uh, continue to uh, pray blessings for your organizations and keep up the great work. Thank you. When we come back, much more for you. Do want to remind you, best content here does show up over there at usdailyreview.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. I'm Kevin Price, and this is The Price of Business. 